Hello and welcome to a gameplay for seasons in today's Hogwarts Legacy video. So I think there are many questions out there at the moment surrounding Hogwarts Legacy that it is actually quite interesting to find out what we as a community think about it. As such, in the last few days, I've been putting out various questions in my community tab and people have been coming back on those. So in this video, I want to go through these. They're all what I would describe as personal questions about Hogwarts Legacy. There's a different flavour to all the questions. And in this video, I'm going to go through those. So you're not just getting my opinion, but you're also getting an opinion of the broader community. So I'm going to now share my screen. And the first question we have here. So we didn't get Hogwarts Legacy at State of Play. Do you think we get a promised update at the Game Awards? Now, I'll start, if we look at the very bottom, you can see I put, at this point, I've stopped trying to guess, because I would kind of say I probably fall into that category, because there's been so many events that have come and gone, it's kind of, it gets disappointing if you expect something to happen, and then it doesn't, so yeah, a very genuine category there. So all the people that have tried to have a guess then, you can quite clearly see on here that people are expecting that we should be getting something at the Game Awards, which is sensible. We know we've had Millier who suggested we should be getting something in either October, which has now come and gone, or the Game Awards. So Game Awards, she's Reptile Leaker, should be a pretty safe bet. But there are, of course, a few people who still don't expect we'll get something. A very small amount of people think we'll get something some other time before year end, which is an interesting one. But you never know. I suppose it could happen. So if we come up to another one then, and this one is, what are you most looking forward to about Hogwarts Legacy? Now, there is a strong leader here, which is people to explore the castle. Which I'm not massively surprised that the top one here, because it is going to be really interesting to see the castle and actually just have that opportunity to go around it. However, for me personally, I actually would put myself in, in the second category here, so the 15%, so the people doing the student thing. And to me, that's because, you know, for a long time, even before this got announced, many years before this got announced, I've been wanting to play a, what I would at the time have called a Harry Potter RPG that you would now call a Wizarding World RPG. And the main reason for that is just to get the feel like I'm actually going to Hogwarts because that to me is just a fun thing to do. So for me, I'm in with the 15%, but the strong lead here is exploring the castle. And the third one here, I don't want to not talk about that because putting my own stamp and morals on the character I think is fun. We don't know how much freedom you're going to have. But from the little amount of information we have so far, it suggests you are going to have quite a lot of freedom, which should be fun. Now, if we go up to the next one, and there's a few comments we've had here that I want to cover. There's lots of interesting comments I've had to all of these, but just a few I wanted to pull out, which I'll go on to. Now, it's interesting here because you can say the percentages are actually relatively evenly split across here. So, yeah, Gryffindor's lead at 27%, Ravenclaw just behind at 26%, and Slytherin not far behind that at 22%. And you've got Hufflepuff quite a way behind that at 14%. Not massively surprised. I think that's why in my question I say Hufflepuff seems to have a bit of a draw for me. Because it almost seems like the underdog is almost the house where a lot less happens. But as I was saying, there's a few interesting comments for this. The first one I'd cover is from, I don't know if that's Wayne or Wine. If we open that up, really good point. I've said it on my other videos. They're interested to see if they're going to have certain perks delegated to certain houses. And that would help their decision, which is absolutely true. If there's quite different things, then that actually might change my opinion, and I'm sure many others. And as I say in my reply, I think it would be good to have kickers to transfiguration, examples like that. And he goes on further, and I think this is a really good point as well. They would be good if you could have certain spells, customization options, animals, delicate house, and things like that. I think that would be a really fun thing to do, and you can see others think that is as well. So yeah, I really hope they do those things, because that will give real meaning to the choice of the house or where you're sorted into. Okay, and if we look at the next one, so I, again, this, well, I made videos about all these things, but I've specifically had a video about Albus Dumbledore in the past, and personally that I don't want him to be a major part in the game. And you can see, if we look here, that's what the vast majority of people say. So there's probably two ways to look at this. One is, do people want him in the game? Which is overwhelmingly, yes, people do want him in the game. But do people want him to be a major part in the game? No, they don't. You know, you've got 73% of people who do want him in the game and some people undecided and some people just don't care. Um, but there's only 15% of people say they don't want him in there at all. The vast, vast majority of them would like him in there because it's a fun Easter egg to be there. However, if you see into the comments, and this is my view as well, 
you've got a few people here again loads of interesting comments but there's a high iq warrior ashley cox both effectively say the same thing which is you know he's the greatest wizard there's no way you can be the focus of the story if dumbledore's there because we know it was an absolute blaze of glory he was the best at everything and maybe you don't want to be the best at everything when you're having your playthrough but some people will and it'll be a bit disappointing if dumbledore's there taking all the glory i don't see how he can do it unless he's in a lower year or something like that which again is uh, suggest the top here by Janilda Miranda, which I think is a good idea. Okay, and the next one then is around Phoenix Nigelus Black, who is a person I am very much looking forward to seeing in the game. I'm expecting them to be in there. Again, I made a video on this one. So I asked the question out there, who do you think he'll be? Now, the reason for that is because we know he was headmaster and he was a terrible headmaster. Sirius Black said that, or Sirius Black III, i.e. Harry Potter's godfather. But you can't get away from the fact that the potions master in the trailer looks very, very, very much like the description of Black that we see in the book. Not the film, because they changed it, but in the book. It does make you think maybe it is the potions master. He's wearing the right kind of robes, facially, and hair colours, and all those things fit the description that we get. The other interesting point is one person did actually say in the comments, which I kind of haven't thought about, Chris Nicery Strakatar, I suggest it could be the Defence Against Dark Arts which why not? Perhaps it could be. At this stage, I guess we really don't know. Now I'd say at this point, if you like the idea of getting involved in these polls, I think it's great to have a community. It's great to know what people are thinking. Then why not have a look in my community tab? Obviously all those polls are still in there. You can vote. I've got plenty more coming, which you can also interact with as well. So why not hit the subscribe button to make sure you don't miss out on those or any of our upcoming Hogwarts Legacy videos. Like this video if you did so I know, and I'll see you on the next one.